Good morning. I thought instead of carving pumpkins, we would paint a pumpkin on a rock. I saw this really cute picture of a pumpkin and they they cut out a circle and they put in a, a bowl of um, Tootsie Rolls or bubble gum. And actually what I saw was um, polka dots. And so I thought that's what we would do with this rock. So I've got my rock that I just picked up down at the river. Um, my handy dandy paintbrush. I have a glass of water to rinse my brush out. And I always like to get it a little bit damp when I get started. It helps the paint. And then I have um, four colors of paint. I have yellow, red, blue, and the all important orange. And what I did is I put just a little bit of paint of each of those colors on my paper plate that you can see I have used before because why waste a perfectly good paper plate? So I'm going to put my, my clean rock down on, on the plate so I don't get my fingers any more dirty. And I am going to put a healthy coat of orange paint on the rock and then I'll probably have to do another one because I really want it to be an orange pumpkin and so and I'm getting trying to get all the way around in the back and on the sides you guys are such great painters I can't wait for you to come back when we get to come back together and do crafts again. Maybe we'll get to paint rocks. Can you, what kind of um, things do you think we could paint on rocks? There. Okay, we're going to let it dry. So I used my handy dandy hair dryer to dry my rock a little bit more so that we can put Pat my brush a little bit more paint do another layer on our on our rock and so you can see I'm just getting it on there getting a good coat we want to have lots of pretty paint on our orange pumpkin and I think that's that second coat is gonna work really well what do you think Good job. Okay, I'm gonna use my hair dryer again and I'll be right back. I'm back. I actually had to put another coat of paint on this to the rock to satisfy my craziness. It's okay. So let's put a um, the stem on the pumpkin and I would like to use green for that color, but I only have blue, yellow, and red. So in order to get green, what two colors do we mix together? Do you remember? That's right, that's right, yellow and blue. Good job. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit of yellow first and dab it there. And then a little, I'm just gonna lift a little bit of blue. Oh, I think I might need a little more yellow. Ah, I don't wanna. Yeah, that'll have to be good enough, huh? That'll have to, that looks, that looks pretty green on, on the screen. Yeah, it looks like a nice color green. And I thought this would be, this broken part would be the top. And I'm just going to dab. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Yeah. Just like that. There, that kind of looks like the rim of the leaves, right? Pumpkin leaves are pretty big. So I get up close so you can see it. Maybe, whoop, whoop, there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna rinse my brush out again. Swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 swish. Ah, that looks better. And then I'm gonna take my tissue and I'm gonna clean, clean my brush because I like to have nice clean brushes as I paint. 
And then to do the polka dots, I'm using the back of the paintbrush, the stem. I have a hair flying around. And I'm going to start with, what color should we start with? How about red? Red. And I'm just going to dab on dots. And you can use this technique for eyes, for the noses, you know, for whatever. Um, it's the back side of your paintbrush is so useful. Okay, and then I just kind of want them in a semi in a circle shape. Okay, now I'm done with the red. I'm gonna wipe it off, and I'm gonna go to blue. And I'm gonna do some blue. And see, I'm just dotting. And you can turn your brush around because there's more paint on the other side. The more dots you do, so if we start with a, a big dot and then we do more dots, they get smaller. Do you see that? Isn't that cool? So if you want big dots to begin with and smaller dots at the end, that's a great way to do it. Um, if you want the same size of dot each time, you're going to have to dip each time. And I think we're done with the blue. That, I think that's enough blue. Now we want yellow. So I cleaned my tip off. I'm going to grab some yellow and I'm going to do yellow dots. Oh, that looks like a nice big bowl of bubble gum <laughs> inside the pumpkin. Yeah, so I would love to see the rocks that you do at home. If you want to set this rock outside and hide it for somebody, um, on the when it's all, all, all dry, like tomorrow morning, write your name on the back of it and the year you did it. And then with um, a little bit of Elmer's glue, coat the top of it in the back side and then that'll let it dry and, and that'll seal it and it won't the paint won't all wash off later it'll just last a little longer have a nice shiny coat what could be cooler than painting rocks as pumpkins for Halloween